So the Musk Twitter saga continues, and it's not looking good right now, at least. Um, yesterday, it was reported that um, hundreds, um, and uh, some reports are saying upwards of 75% <clears throat> of the work staff of the workforce on of Twitter that was left after Musk fired over half of them it's been reported that it's over 75% of the Twitter staff that's left has um left the company after Elon um gave a deadline uh to all of the employees um saying that uh it's time for Twitter 2.0 and um uh, it's, he's doing this, um, he's trying to change Twitter and, um, he's trying to make Twitter something that it's not. And he thinks that he can make Twitter, um, really into anything he wants because, uh, I guess Elon Musk kind of has one of those, um, too big to fail, um, like, uh, personalities or a uh, way of thinking, I guess you could say, but, um, they had um, a bunch of the um, media and um, news outlets got a hold of uh, Slack messages, um, some emails, and other things. Um, I'm not pressing the button. One departing employee posted in Slack. My watch ends with Twitter 1.0. I do not wish to be part of Twitter 2.0, which is what Elon Musk is coining uh, these big changes. And... Um, Musk has said in a tweet Thursday evening, which I tried to find it. He might have deleted it, but he also tweets a lot. Um, the best people are staying, so I'm not <laughs> super worried. But he tweeted this out on Thursday. But this morning, um, Elon Musk um, and seemingly uh, he seemingly he locked all of their employees out of the office. So um, the employees that are there. Um, you know, they tried to show up and they couldn't because the office is literally locked. It's literally locked. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I, we, a lot of us don't know what's going on. Uh, a lot of what's going on internally, but for the most part, um, this is just all terrible, terrible news for Twitter as a whole. Um, and uh, the message that they sent to Twitter staff um, said, discussing confidential company, discussing confidential company information on social media with the press or elsewhere, refrain from doing so. But um, dozens of staff have been on Twitter announcing the resignations over the past two days. And it's like I said, there have been a lot, a lot of resignations, a lot of people saying that they quit. It's been upwards of 75%. You're going to hear that name a lot. And then um, Elon, obviously, you know, big, uh, big memer Elon, you know, um, taking it as a joke, but it's really not a joke. That's why he's been having to take money from SpaceX and put it into Twitter. He's been selling shares of Tesla and SpaceX. He, the reason he's been selling shares is because he needs more money for Twitter. And um, I don't think Elon thought that this was going to be as easy as um, he thought it was. But um, for right now, we're just going to have to continue and wait to see if, uh, you know, maybe uh, next week Twitter will just be completely gone. It'll be completely just won't open. It'll just crash and never go back up. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But as of right now, um, the... Uh, it seems that this dumpster fire is just going to um, keep growing and get worse and worse, at least while Elon's still in charge.